Good evening, and welcome to my laboratory. You may recall that I have been working with Van de Graaff machines, and I started with this very crude version using just a beer can for the top load, a thin rubber band for a belt, and uh, a tape drive motor. And this one made small sparks every few seconds. And I used what I learned from that to go on and make some slightly larger machines. That one and this one. That's just an extra top dome sitting on there. These are the machines that you've seen in the uh, oil jet demos. And then I put a larger capacity on one of these uh, to make the long sparks, the 95 millimeter sparks in the dark video. So I've used what I've learned from building these machines and experimenting with them to design and build a somewhat larger machine that I will be giving you some details of um, during this video. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is uh, show you what, uh, what we've got. I found some Baby Moon hubcaps at the surplus store and I thought they would make excellent uh, bases and top capacities for Van de Graaff machines, so I bought a few of them. This is the base. I've cut a hole out in it with a hole saw and uh, smoothed it out on the lathe. Uh, and I've put in a couple of uh, toggle switches and a banana jack there and one of those uh, coaxial power jacks there and another banana jack there. And uh, just as a styling detail, I've put some of this uh, this uh, wire covering. It's, uh, I guess you call it split loom covering. It's, a, it's got a split in it. It's nice corrugated. It just slips along the rim of the hubcap there to add a little style and trim. Uh, inside, what we've got is uh, pretty much standard Van de Graaff components. Um, there's the motor, there's a Teflon roller on the bottom of the roller, on the bottom of the uh, uh, brush there, or uh, excuse me, on the motor there, on the shaft of the motor. And there is the Corona brush that picks the charge up off the belt right there. That's just a piece of uh, <coughs> pipe screen soldered to a paper clip wire or copper wire, uh, hot glued plastic bolt there, and, and it's uh, grounded to the motor, which in turn is grounded to the base uh, at one of the grounding lugs of the banana jack. And uh, this white stuff is a uh, really neat material. It's a low density PVC board and it's uh, easy to work with, it's very strong, and you can even carve it. Uh, it's uh, not foam core, it's actually PVC all the way through, but it's pretty light and it uh, machines pretty easily. So I used that to make a, an insert ring uh, retainer for the tube, and this other ring here which is kind of a motor mount. So the motor mount is uh, hot glued in to some rubber bumpers, it's got a little tie wrap there. Everything is secured with uh, hot glue, uh, to the base, and that is the base of the Van de Graaff machine there. Okay, and then this is the uh, the tube. This is a piece of acrylic tubing. These are some uh, plastic bits that I machined on the lathe to act as uh, top and bottom bumpers. And these are Corona rings or uh, field shapers that uh, are actually necessary for the function uh, of this machine, uh, so that it'll make big sparks. Okay, so this. Uh, this goes on there, like that. Okay. And <clears throat> I know we'll set that aside for a moment. And then 
the business end at the top, this is a little uh, support bearing support uh, unit and uh, the top brush or comb and a spring that will make contact with the top capacity when we put it on. And then this is the uh, top roller assembly. That's a, a brass roller and a steel shaft running in uh, two little ball bearings. And uh, the way that I designed this is this just uh, drops in there like that. This drops in and is free to uh, find its own position once you've got this on there with the belt in place and the brush swings over the belt uh, uh, when the system is in operation. Okay, So we'll take that, uh, take the brush holder or the bearing holder and we'll just put it into the top tube like so. Okay, Then we'll take the belt which is uh, the belt here is three uh, rubber bands uh, like this one that I uh, cut and spliced together with uh, this product which is called uh, Last Glue. It's a type of cyanoacrylate adhesive. It's a hot glue but it actually works better than uh, or rather, not a hot glue, but a uh, super glue. It works better than most other super glues I've seen. So what I've done is I've made running splices just by cutting the rubber band, like so, right? And uh, using the last glue, just a little bit of it, <coughs> to make the splice like so and uh, voila the stuff is actually pretty amazing I'm uh, running it over two rollers at high speed under high voltage and uh, I've tested about 12 splices made this way and uh, only one of them has failed and it was because I didn't make the splice correctly this is It's amazing stuff. Anyway, so I made the belt uh, like that. There are three splices in this belt. So we'll put the belt on. I don't know if you can see this. I'm dangling in the tube. Like so. Drop the top roller in there. And the reason that I designed it this way is because uh, I realized that you needed to be able to take the top capacity off and on uh, with, without taking it apart. Right, okay. So now I've got the belt dangling down in there and uh, a really handy tool I've found is uh, a chopstick uh, bamboo, make sure it's a bamboo chopstick with an alligator clip crimped to the end. Okay. The bamboo chopstick is actually a high voltage resistor uh, that will allow you to bleed charge away from charged objects through your body uh, b without getting a, a big shock. Uh, okay, And then the uh, alligator clip is useful for holding things into the field and for uh, doing what I'm about to do, which is to pull the belt down.